Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to make some changes to my Kubernetes Vagrant environment. For those of you who are using my Vagrant environment, you already know that I fixed my Kubernetes version to 1.20.0. So I usually test certain version of Kubernetes components along with container D, Docker versions and few other uh, setup so that everything works if you use my Vagrant environment. And time to time, I update my Vagrant setup to use the latest version. So this is one such video where I I'm going to upgrade few of the components to the latest version and I've already got a pull request in my github repository from a separate branch and I'm going to test it out in this video and if it looks okay and if it works okay I'm going to merge it into the master branch okay let me go to my kubernetes github repository and if I go to pull request okay so mine is this one version bump it's not a major change just three components the main one is the kubernetes so when I say kubernetes it's the components involved like kubadium kubes CTL, kubelet and things like that. So from 1.20.0 to 1.20.5 and the overlay network that I'm using is Calico and I've bumped the version from 3.16 to 3.18 and this is the Vagrant Ubuntu box that I use for my Vagrant setup. So that one is going from 3.1.12 to 3.2. 10. Okay, so if you look look at the actual files that have changed, it's these three files. So first one is the Vagrant file where I'm specifying what version of Ubuntu box that I need. Okay, so that's the change from 3.1.12 to 3.2.10. And then the bootstrap script where I'm installing all the Kubernetes components. So kubeadium, kubelet, kubectl, it's now 1.20.5. And finally, in the bootstrap kmaster shell, this is the bootstrap script that runs on the kmaster. So after the the kubeadium initialization command I'm deploying the calico network and now from 3.16 to 3.18 so that's all it is and let's give it a try okay so I'm going to go to my play directory and do a git clone of my kubernetes and the branch is version bump so cd to kubernetes cd to vagrant provisioning I've got my Vagrant file, Bootstrap, Bootstrap Kworker, and Bootstrap Kmaster. If I take a quick look at Vagrant file, 3.2.10, that looks good. Okay, so all I have to do is just do a Vagrant up. So first I'm going to test this in VirtualBox and then we will do it in libvirt. I want to test both these because if you take a look at my vagrant file you can see here node.vm.provider is virtualbox. By default if you do vagrant up it's going to use the virtualbox provider but if you want to use libvirt you need to pass minus minus libvirt to vagrant command. All right first let's do the virtualbox and then we can come back to libvirt and if I do vbox manage list vms I don't have any virtual machines at the moment and I can also check from the virtual box GUI that I don't have any virtual machines and let's do a vagrant up command. All right, the vagrant up command completed. So we should now have three virtual machines. So if I do vbox manage list VMs, there we go. Kmaster, Kworker1 and Kworker2. Let's also check the GUI. Yeah, Kmaster, Kworker1 and Kworker2. So first thing first, we have provisioned the Kubernetes cluster. So now we need to copy the kubeconfig file from the master node. So for that, I'm going to make a directory called dot cube under my home directory and I'm going to run an SCP command etc kubernetes admin dot com file from the kmaster which is 172.16.16.100 logging in as root and copying it to dot cube directory as config and the password is cube admin all right so now we have the cube config file we should be able to interact with this cluster kubectl cluster info cool so that's our cluster that's the ip address of the kmaster that's running fine if i do kubectl version minus minus short 1.20.5 yeah that looks good kubectl get nodes right so we got three nodes all are ready one master and two worker nodes and if i do minus o white right so they're all 1 to 2004 virtual box vms and they are running container d 1.3.3 okay let's create an nginx deployment kubectl create deploy nginx minus minus image nginx kubectl get pods minus a okay so that's the nginx deployment in the default namespace container is creating i just wanted to have a look at what other pods that we have running at the moment kubectl get pods okay so nginx pod is running kubectl get all so that's our deployment and let's create a service kubectl expose 
deploy nginx minus minus type node port on port 80 okay kubectl get service there we go so that's our nginx service on node port 31953 kubectl get nodes minus o wide so i should be able to access this from one of these ip address one of these nodes and on this port where is it yeah th that's the node port okay let's try that links and let's try this one first colon links is a terminal based web browser that i prefer to use and that's the node port okay so welcome to nginx cool that's working fine and we can also try the other ones 101 yep that's working fine and 102 which is kworker2 and again it's working fine kubectl delete deploy nginx kubectl delete service nginx kubectl get all right everything is gone and i want to do one more testing just to check the overlay network let's do a watch command watch kubectl get all right we don't have anything at the moment what i'm going to do is run a couple of busy box shell and then see if i can ping each other i just want to make sure that these runs on uh, individual nodes on different worker nodes for that i need to do kubectl get pods minus o wide kubectl run minus it to run it in the interactive mode because i need to get a shell minus minus rm so i don't want to run it all the time i want to delete the pod once i exit out of the shell give it a name let's call it shell one minus minus image is bc box and another one kubectl run it minus minus rm shell two image is bc box if i type it correctly bc box Okay, so container is getting created. As you can see, these containers are getting created on two different nodes, Kworker1 and Kworker2. So that's going to be a good testing. So once I get a prompt, I will test whether I can ping this busy box from here and this one from there. Host name dash i okay 192.168.41.1. They can actually see it here. And this one is 129 which is this one right let's do a ping this one yep i can ping and a ping from here on this machine right cool i can ping let me exit out of these right and they are getting terminated so that concludes my testing so now i'm going to tear this down and i'm going to do the same testing in libvirt using libvirt okay let's get rid of all these terminals kubectl get all okay kubectl get all right vagrant destroy minus f all the three nodes are going to be destroyed everything is gone vbox manage list vms we don't have anything right now let's do this using libvirt verse list Burst list minus minus all right i've got an ubuntu machine that's powered off because i use that for my testing but we don't have any of the uh, kubernetes nodes right if i bring up the word manager as you can see that's my ubuntu test machine test vm but it's powered off but once we start this vagrant up command you will see the um, the kubernetes nodes here libvirt virtual machines okay so the thing to do is vagrant up minus minus provider lib so we want to specify the provider that we want to use if you don't specify the provider it's going to assume that you want virtual box by default okay but there's one thing that you need to do before running this command because we're using the same vagrant file and the same network 172.16.16.0 network and I've already used VirtualBox that would have created an, a virtual interface on my system. If I do IP address show, and you can see here VBox net. So that's the virtual ethernet, virtual interface that VirtualBox created for me. And if I do vagrant up minus minus provider libvirt, libvirt is going to create another virtual interface with the same network and it's going to fail. So I either need to remove this interface from the command line or in the VirtualBox GUI. Let me show you how to do that in the GUI because most people prefer to do it in the GUI. So file preferences network um sorry it's not in there uh virtual host network manager yeah that one vbox net remove remove so that's gone cool and now if i do 
IPAS that's gone so now we should be good to bring up the libvirt virtual machines okay so vagrant up minus minus provider libvirt this again is going to take a few minutes vagrant up command completed and in the background if you see we've got three new libvirt virtual machines qmu kvm virtual machines right okay so and if i do ip a and s that should be one for one seven two yeah that's the one okay cool and as usual because I already got the dot cube directory, I don't have to create it again. And I'm going to do an SCP. The command is the same command login as root to the kmaster and copy etc kubernetes admin.conf. Right, yeah, obviously the machine key have changed because I deleted the VM and recreated it, but using the same IP address. So I need to remove that from my known hosts file and run the same command again. Cube admin is the password. So kubectl cluster info. So we have a working API server. kubectl version short 1.20.5 kubectl get nodes kmaster kworker1 kworker2 all of them are ready about the 2004 and the container d version 1.3.3 okay by the looks of it the cluster is up and running fine right kubectl get pods right so one of the calico node is initializing so that should be fine i think that's the last node i think minus o wide for initializing yeah k worker two yeah let's give it some time kubectl get ports dash a okay let it initialize but meanwhile let's do our usual testing kubectl create deploy nginx kubectl get all get all right container is getting created kubectl get all right our nginx part is running let's expose it let's expose the nginx deployment yeah kubectl expose deploy nginx as node port port 80 okay kubectl get service 32236 okay let's do a links 32236 okay so now i'm connecting to 102 which is kworker2 and we can see the welcome to nginx page cool and kworker1 which is 101 and we can see that 100 which is kmaster and again it's working fine kubectl get ports minus o wide so despite the pod running in kworker1 we can access it we were able to access it from kmaster kworker2 so that's the kind of overlay network so which confirms that our overlay network is running fine but i also used to do this particular testing so that we make sure our dns is also working fine kubectl run shell1 bc box watch kubectl get ports kubectl run and shell 2 basically i'm launching two busy box container and you can see the containers are getting created one on kworker 2 oh this time both are getting created on kworker 2 i don't want them created on the same machine because i want to test node to node communication right i'm gonna kill this one and i'm also going to delete the nginx service and also delete the nginx deployment and rerun the busy box container let's see this time where it gets launched all right so that's running yeah oh no again both are getting created in kworker2 all right let's terminate this one and run the same command again yeah it's getting terminated so i can't use the same name that's fine Cool. Okay, so now we can see both got created on different machine kworker1 and kworker2. So this one is 192.168.77.131. I can confirm by typing hostname dash i. Yep. Hostname dash i. Yep. 130. Let's see if we can ping these machines. I can do and ping this machine. Cool, I can ping, so that concludes my testing and it works okay. Let me delete these pods and the containers, sorry, and the terminals, and they are getting terminated. kubectl get all. Okay, that's gone. Let's do a vagrant version list. Right, vagrant 
destroy minus F. So that's going to destroy all my three KVM virtual machines. All right, verse list, they are all gone. So I think now I'm quite satisfied with the testing. So I'm going to merge this pull request. Merge, pull request, confirm, merge. Okay, so that's merge. I'm also going to delete this version bump branch. All right, I think that's it for this video. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.